I think we're all ready now and we're all here. It was 1966. Gilbert Frank was stationed in Germany. He's never talked much about his time in the service. Testing one, two. With one exception. So we'd like to have a big welcome now for Don Lewis and the Legionnaires. He proudly managed a military band. That's me in the middle there. I've never heard him. Um, I've only, you know, been told about him. Daughter Tanya knows on his last night in the service, her father made certain to record his beloved band. But it turns out these old reel-to-reel -reel tapes might as well be in a locked safe without a key. You could get an old reel-to-reel -reel player, but then you couldn't get it to play the right speed. And for decades, Tanya has searched for a way to get that music transferred so her dad could hear his band again. Jay took him to college thinking I could get it done in college and I wasn't able to get it done. That was in North Dakota. Then the tapes traveled with her to Wisconsin. And I knew some people there. No luck. Tanya took the tapes to Idaho, where she thought she had a lead. And I think that's when we thought we lost them, because there was a house fire. But the tapes turned up again. Tanya's mom then took them with her to her home in Minnesota, then back to Washington, then back to Minnesota and Washington again. It was time for Tanya's last-ditch effort. Randy, I watch Crem News all the time. Take me right back to the track, Jack. Tanya knew Randy Shaw put together an honor flight CD. Maybe he knew someone who could help. He responded and said, I would love to help a vet. Randy sent the tapes to Carl Bingle at Mission Control Records, the producer of his honor flight CD. Carl had to dig out and dust off this old Norelco reel-to-reel -reel player to finally hear. Well, if I see and copy the tapes onto CDs. He's going to be so excited to hear them. So, ugh. I just can't believe they did it. Tanya's kept the CDs a secret until her parents came to visit from Minnesota. The big reveal just before noon at the Deer Park Farmers Market and Bakery. She's arranged for the CDs to play as bakery background music. We'll go sit over here and have some lunch. Have a seat, Dad. It takes but a few moments. What is that? Don Lewis. <laughs> the music memory connection snaps Gilbert Frank right back to his last night in Germany in 1969. We had a special request from Frank to do one. Of that the night, the show. music was dedicated to him. I want to do a song now for Frank. He's kind of short, a little bit short. How many hours? 26 hours and 50, 55 minutes. This is kind of a short time or song. When I started hearing the songs, then I heard Don's voice. Right away, I knew. For the first time in 45 years, Gilbert is steeped in his greatest memories from the service. Yep, some of the best. Yeah, that was when we had the good times. Those were the times stress would fade in favor of the music. Fantastic. And I knew when he heard it. <laughs> and it was sad. I mean, it was happy, but you know, I'm just so happy for him. Gilbert thought he'd never hear the music he loved, and certainly not on this day. No idea whatsoever. She kept bragging about the soup was so good here. So <laughs> Gilbert will find a safe place to put his new CDs of old music. That is, if he doesn't wear them out on his drive back home to Minnesota. Well, I'm going to be listening to it all the way home. <laughs> 1,333 miles. Well, that was really great. I really, really appreciate that. You're welcome, Dad. I love you. Happy birthday. I'm certain of I should have been.